No, but I'll tell you this. Please, come out and vote. As Jews, we have to use the rights that are given to us in the United States. I know what it's like to live in a place where we lost all our rights. We have these rights in the United States. We have to use those rights. March 20th, come out to vote. We have to make sure that everything that we need, from the most basic things like, uh, you know, the ability to practice our religion, to things like social services, yeshiva funding, uh, potentially getting school vouchers, social issues like life, uh, like uh, marriage and so on. All those issues are being decided in elections, including this election. You know, there's a choice that we have to make. And it's, like I said, in a show, I'm not going to say why people should vote for me, why people should vote for me. I'm going to speak to you. Yes. There are several interviews with you, but I'll tell you, know you this. Means. All of us, all of us here, and we need to come out. Please make sure you use, use your right. Make sure that we don't uh, give up. The one thing that we have to protect ourselves, the one thing that we have to protect what we believe in, in terms of uh, our fiscal needs, in terms of our social needs, uh, on all those issues. So March 20th, please, come out and vote. Thank you. I, I understand. Whoever has any questions, they can attack you. Vouchers for yeshivas? Uh, yes, I am. Yes, I what am about pro vouchers, vouchers for Chung and Kugel on Thursday night? <laughs> <laughs> Just Latkes. Just Latkes. I'm fine. No, we got other. You're being filmed. You're being filmed. Just keep me How do you feel about being attacked by Yeshiva World uh, that you're not the religious enough? Uh, it's really. Uh, That's merely an attack. Yeah, yeah. It's, he it's is attack. pro Yeshiva. He is a Jew. He is a survivor it's a, it's of Russia. It's about anti gay. Let, let me put it this way. Every, let's worry about the survival of Eretz Yisrael. Let's worry about Iran. If you wanted to name your son David, you called him Dimitri. If you wanted to name your daughter Sarah, you called her Svetlana. If you wanted to name your son Abraham, you called him Arkady. Uh, but everyone always knew that you were named after your grandpa David. Like in my case, I'm named after my grandpa David. Uh, or my mom, who's named Anna. She was named after her great aunt Hannah. So, as to the degree that we could keep it, we did, you know, we did keep it. And uh, for somebody to, uh, to abuse that number and to say, oh, in, look, in Russia he was named Dimitri, and in the United States he changed it to David, it's really shameful for somebody to play, uh, play on that. Every single person, every single Jew in the Soviet Union had to do that. Every single one. Everyone, every person named Arkady is really Abraham. So they really should not uh, bring that up and make make this point. 99.9% .9 of Russian Jews still refer to them to themselves as Jews. You still had very, very high intramarriage uh, rates. Almost everyone during the Soviet times wound up marrying Jews. Um, it's really shameful for someone to abuse uh, what has happened at that, at that point. Now, uh, in my case, I never said that I followed every single law out there. And for them to claim that I did is false. I, what I said is that I'm a committed Jew. And I am a committed Jew. I've always been a committed Jew. I've organized the Jewish I, I uh, clubs. I've organized pro-Israel demonstrations. I've always been a committed Jew in the Soviet Union and in, in the United States. So what you, really you, should so not you be feel the issue. blogs are absolutely... It's uh, absolutely a disgrace what, what's been said. And especially that person who appeared out of nowhere, who I believe is just somebody from inside the Fedor campaign, because it's just nobody who has never identified himself. Now what's a tuition. How about the Nazi, uh, I'm talking about the Yaakov Gold. Right, Yaakov, well, no, because the Nazi comment I asked him about. In the yeah. war, you know, you have that website, which is really far right. Which website? Your website. <laughs> it's really far. No, there are a lot a of there are a lot. No, I'm not a. You know what? I no, graduated with Lou Fiddler. I know him very well. He's a very decent guy, very nice guy. He may be a very nice guy also. You know, but uh, but if you were, why would you come to the shul? But uh, <laughs> a lot of the are far right comments. There are a lot of Nazi skinhead posts on it. You know that. That's what, that's what that, confused yeah. the issue. Can I respond to that? First off, if you look at it there, uh, it, there's no as many... You, one second, one second, sir, you. please. There are as many articles there that are liberal as conservative that are for this, that, and the other. It was an op-ed. It was a place for people to post their op-eds. There, If you Google my name, there are about 80-some thousand uh, links to my name. The fact that uh, was it two or three of them... Uh, were, the fact that two or three of them were crazy... Uh, it's, it's not in the, one second. It's more than that. It's sir, more than two or three. sir, no, no. sir can I please, can no, I please finish? No, because, because you're, 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 no, because you're, you're saying something that's not so. If you're saying something that's not so, can I, it is sir, more than two or three. No, wait, wait, let me just say one sir, thing. It was, You've spoken sir. here for 10, 15 minutes. It's my soul, and, you know, you're a guest here. Okay. So uh, we're active participants. Well, now, if you come here every day for Mincha, Marab, and Shachras, we can let you speak for as long as you want. But if you're a guest here, okay. somebody can stop you if you're saying something that's not true. Can what I you said about two or three is not true. I'm not saying can it's I your fault, respond? but they did attach themselves can to I you. Please that, no, no. 
We're not criticizing for it. We're just explaining to you why sir, the comment was made. Sir, can I I'm not sir. You know, it's a, it's top of this baloney. And when you bring up the whole gay issue, you shouldn't focus on that alone just to get the Jewish vote. Vo uh, focus on Obama. Focus on Iran. Focus on those things. You know, if you can't take the heat here, you certainly will not be able to take okay, the heat in the state I senate. Be allowed, I should be allowed to respond. It's, it's completely If you can't unfair. take the heat here, if you're going to walk away, how are you going to deal okay, with your constituents? I, you think I everybody's going to be happy with you? No, of course not. If you can't you take the heat in this small crowd, no heat, that shows you what happens when you run for he, a public office. Give him the benefit. He was a military But response. this is part of it. But he was a military I'd like to be able to, I, was, okay. I, was, I was actually the one speaking. He's okay. So what I'd like to say is, there are 80, yes, there are 80 votes. There, are 80, there were more than 8,000 uh, you know, From what I've seen, is that there, there indeed were about three of them, regardless of what it was. I'm obviously not able to control who links to me and who doesn't. Every single day, there are people linking to the New York Times and the New York Post and the Washington Post and every single publication in the world, and they have views from the far right to the far left to everything in the middle. It's really shameful that the Felder camp, including right now, is still continuing to make that an issue. Like I said, I mean, all my life I've been a very committed Jew, uh, even in the Soviet Union, uh, including here. Like I said, uh, all, all, both of my grandparents fought in World War II. Both of them, all four of them lost uh, brothers as soldiers in World War II. All four of them, in addition to that, lost other relatives in Nazi concentration camps like Sabibor and other places. So it's really shameful that this continues, continues to be an issue. The reality is that this will not help anyone for these vicious, vicious attacks that, are, that keep coming from the Fiddler camp, according right now, to keep on coming. It's really shameful. Wait, wait, can I respond to that? One second. Can wait, I wait, wait, wait. That's not true. It's really the shameful. Fiddle camp, excuse shameful. me. The Fiddle Camp is not it's continuing outrageous. these. Outrageous. The Fiddle that, Camp is not continuing well, this. All they're doing is explaining why they said it. They didn't say it because you are a skinhead. They didn't say you have skinhead followers. They said that skinheads annex themselves to your website. That was the explanation. Sir, they One second, you, you spoke. Give me a chance Times. also. Well, they did sure. not accuse you we of being a Nazi. Yes, they did. Now. Absolutely not. They said they did not. Mean about ties to Absolutely Nazis. Absolutely not. No, they said that. And if they said that, you know, if they, if they, if they the said that, that okay, would finish the sentence. So tell me what you think of this political... I think political that this whole political thing has gotten really dirty and should be raised from the gutters. And um, I know Lou Fiddler for many, many years. I know him since uh, 1975 which is a long time, is a decent guy, is an honorable guy. The fact that some people make comments um, and, and attach, uh, or say what he said that uh, Fiddler's constituents say is absolutely wrong. But he can't say, well, those people are saying this, and I'm not responsible for the Nazis attaching themselves to my blog or to my website. By the same token, nuts will attach themselves to Fiddler. They'll also attach themselves to him. It cuts both ways. What I'm saying is that you have to focus on the issues. This whole thing with gay marriage and all this, while it's relevant to the Jewish community, it not, should not be pushed into the forefront just to gain the Orthodox vote. There are many more issues at hand right now. Iran is a, a very dangerous issue. And, uh, you know, just playing uh, pouts with the gay issue. Well, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Right now, not you're, right, but not right now you're interfering with freedom of the press. I, so is I have freedom you, of speech. Is that when you stop that? Well, I am really well, freedom of speech. What is unfair about him? I mean, what is he doing that? I want a nice clean unfair. fight. When what I say break, everybody go back to their corners. David Tolan break. Tolan break. We're going to have him. He had his opportunity. He got involved in the controversy. When he makes a comment, that comment has to be rebutted. Just as nuts attach themselves to him, nuts attach themselves to Fiddler. This is getting a little too low. You're dealing here with a candidate that's working hard to help the community. Absolutely, but I'm just saying, just the only, I wasn't accusing him of making Nazi statements. I was just saying this is how this whole controversy started, because nuts attached themselves to him, just as nuts attached themselves to many candidates. Mm. That doesn't mean that that's what the candidate stands for. Is it, was that valid what to make I'm an issue? Is, was it what valid I'm to saying, make an issue? No, of course not. What I'm saying is you have to stick to the issues that are most prevalent right now, the most what? prominent issues. What are the most important issues facing our community? Vouchers for right. vouchers. vouchers are very important. Vouchers. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, vouchers lower for taxes. Google for Thursday night. Helping the businesses. Helping the real economy. estate industry. The economy. Have a, good Iran. Have a good day. Have a good day. I guess it's a, it's I got night. your point. It's night. It's night time. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> uh, David, we're going to shake hands. Yeah. <laughs> David. Yeah. yeah. David. If you call me by my right name, I'll say. Okay.